We don't have much time, so uh, follow me on Twitch, my link is in the description and streams will start in a few weeks. Let's go over 25 tips for Streamlabs OBS in the next 10 minutes. You can make your webcam go from this to this simply by adding some color correction. You can do this simply by right clicking your webcam in the sources, going to filters, then adding a new color correction filter and playing around with these sliders till you look like a freaking chat. I like to reduce the brightness, then increase the contrast, then fix the gamma and then add some saturation, but you can play around with this till it's something that you like. Importing complete overlay packs. Some overlay packs can be imported in a few clicks by going to settings, scene collection and then import overlay. This folder right here is an overlay pack from own.tv which is a sponsor of this video and they give an import file with all of their packages and this allows you to import the whole thing in one click. You'll get a bunch of pre-built scenes on the left and then all the separate elements in the sources. If you want one of these packs for yourself, the link will be below this video. You can just go to their website to overlays and then complete packages to see their whole library. When you hover them, you will get a preview and when you click on them, you can scroll down a bit and then test every element of the stream with their preview tool, which is amazing to decide whether you want the pack or not. This dark mode series is my favorite one and if you want to buy one of these packs, yourself then you can use my code TVN at checkout to get a 50% discount. The link to their website will be under this video. Changing the direction in which you're facing. If you add your webcam to your scene but you're looking to the outside instead of to the middle of your screen then you can right click your webcam in the sources, go to transform and then choose flip it horizontally. Also don't forget that you can hold alt on your keyboard to cut off sides of your webcam or any other source. Removing background noise. You can easily remove background noise from your microphone, that's very simple. First go to your general audio settings and then change the audio monitoring of your microphone to monitor and output. Now you will hear yourself so you can go to the settings of your microphone and then choose filters. Now click the plus icon and add a new filter and choose noise suppression. Now moving this slider will increase or reduce the noise suppression so you should test this out for yourself. One quick extra tip here, if your microphone is too quiet you can add a gain filter right here and that can boost your volume pretty easily. Now what's even better than removing background noise is moving your microphone as close to your mouth as possible. This way you can reduce the volume of your microphone so your voice will be loud enough but the things around it will be very quiet. Streaming with only one monitor. You can show your chat and your recent events like new follower or new donation etc on top of your game by enabling the game overlay in your settings. After that go to hotkeys and then set the keybind for toggle in game overlay and toggle overlay position mode. Now go in your game, try to run it in windowed full screen mode instead of full screen and then press your toggle overlay keybind. Now you will see them on top of your game and you can reposition them by pressing your positioning mode keybind. And this is an amazing feature to stream with only one monitor while being able to read your chat, series and events, etc. Previewing scenes in studio mode. When you go to the studio mode on the bottom left, you can preview your scene on the left and then click on transition once you're sure that everything is all right. The left side is only visible to you and then the right side is what will appear on your stream. Controlling Streamlabs OBS with your phone or your tablet. When you go to your settings and then to remote control you will get a QR code that can be scanned with the Streamlabs deck application. This is the application so you just download this and then you log in with your Twitch, YouTube or Facebook account. So let me quickly log in with my Twitch account. And then you will get this screen right here so now you need to scan the QR code with this camera. Now make sure you click on it to make it completely visible and that you're logged in with the same account on Streamlabs OBS and on this application. So right now they are connected and as you see I have a bunch of options. I can start recording, start streaming, I can go to another scene, it's transitioning right now on my PC, I can disable things like sound sources, webcams, etc. This is amazing. Resizing and repositioning elements. When you right click a source like game capture or something like that, you can choose transform and then fit the screen to make it easily fill the screen. There are a bunch of other options right here like centering horizontally, vertically, so you can check that out. Nested scenes. You can import a scene in another scene. So when you make a scene called webcam for example and then you build your webcam right there then you can import that in other scenes by clicking the plus icon, choosing scene and then selecting the webcam scene you just created. This way you can import your webcam everywhere by adding that scene 
And then if you decide to make some changes to the webcam scene, it will change everywhere. Syncing audio sources. When your audio isn't synced correctly, for example, if your voice comes one second after people see you speaking on stream, then you can add a sync offset in milliseconds in the general mixer settings. I hear a lot of people having problems with syncing capture cards, so for example if your game audio comes before the video, then you can just add some delay to the PC sound and that should fix it. Changing your Streamlabs OBS layout. When you go to the layout editor on the bottom left you can change your layout and reposition windows or add functions to your scene. Then you can just either save it on the top right or you can create a preset out of it on the top left and then save it on the top right so that way you can create some presets that you can access on the top left like you see right here. Themes and alerts library. On the left you can see themes and alerts and those allow you to install graphics in a few seconds if you have Streamlabs Prime. Now I'm not sure what Prime costs exactly but you can get $10 off the price if you use an affiliate code so I will put mine in the description in case you want to get these themes. Streamlabs Prime has a bunch of other benefits but I don't have time to go over those in this video. Automatically record while streaming. If you want to record your streams every time you go live, in the general settings you can enable automatically record while streaming and that will do just that. Multi-channel audio recording. If you record your streams or just gameplay to edit afterwards, then I'm sure you would like to have separate audio tracks for your game, your music and your microphone for example. Now if you go to your general mixer settings then you can disable all these channels and then send each of your sources to a separate audio channel. Then when you go to settings, output, advanced, recording, you can make sure that you record mp4 or mov and then enable those audio channels to be recorded. Fixing a black screen. Now many of the comments I get are about black screens when using game capture. Well, first of all, for some games, for example like Destiny 2, game capture just doesn't work. Second of all, there are a lot of things to try, so I'm gonna add a link to this page in the description, so you can try all these things and then it will probably be fixed for you. Also, don't forget to open your game and then alt tap out of it before concluding that it doesn't work. Enabling performance mode. When your PC has performance issues you can right click on the preview and then go into performance mode. This won't magically fix things but it can reduce your CPU load so it's worth a try. Tracking your performance in the footer. By default you will see nothing right here at the bottom but if you click this icon and then select all these stats, they will be added to your footer so you can just keep an eye on your stream's performance. Important to know is that this CPU load right here is only reflecting Streamlabs OBS. When you press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape on your keyboard and you go to the performance tab, right here you can see your total CPU load of your PC. NVENC vs X264 encoding. Now always use NVENC or NVENC new if it's available. You will have it if you have a pretty decent Nvidia graphics card and what it will do is it will put load on a separate chip on that graphics card instead of on your processor. Now this is extremely efficient so if it's available for you definitely use it. Fixing your alerts. If you're using Streamlabs alerts and you messed something up or your alerts aren't working anymore or they are pretty random then you can completely reset them by logging in on streamlabs.com, going to your dashboard, going to settings, API settings, widget settings, clicking reset alert box settings and then confirming on the top right, this will completely reset your alerts. Setting up Streamlabs alerts online. Now sometimes the alert box in Streamlabs OBS will be bugging but you can also set up your alerts online. After logging in on streamlabs.com you can go to your dashboard, to alert box, you can change your settings right here and then copy this URL make a new browser source in Streamlabs OBS and I'm pasting the URL right there. And in case you didn't know, you can test your alerts on the bottom in Streamlabs OBS by clicking test widget and then clicking on one of the alerts to see if it works. By the way, I have a separate in-depth tutorial on setting up your alerts on Streamlabs.com like I just said, so I will link it in the course and in the description in case you want it. Adding audio devices per scene. Instead of adding an audio device in your audio settings, you can also limit it to a certain scene by adding audio as a source instead. So click the plus icon to add a new source and then audio input capture is for microphones and audio output capture is for output devices like your headset. This way you can add audio in one scene instead of for everything together. Stream chat and chat settings. 
There's a small arrow on the right to show your stream chat and on the bottom there's a settings icon to change a bunch of stream settings. What you see here in the chat section will depend on what platform you're logged in with. Deleting your cache. If you changed so many settings that nothing is working anymore and you don't know how to fix it, then your last hope might be deleting your cache. But be careful, I've been getting a lot of hate comments from people who click this after me mentioning it you will lose all your settings. If you were logged in with an account while setting up your overlay, then that will be saved, but your settings like your output settings, your general settings, video settings, all that stuff will be gone. But yeah, that's the point, right? Use snapping to reposition elements. When repositioning overlay elements, you might want to connect something to the border of your stream or to another element. Now in the general tab on the bottom of your settings you can find snapping options and this makes elements snap to each other or to the border of your stream. Increasing the sensitivity right here makes it snap harder. Setting up alert variations. When you add an alert box and you open the settings you can add variations of certain alerts. When you go to the alert settings of that variation then you can choose the condition for this to trigger. This way different alerts can be shown for different donation amounts, sub tiers or things like that. And then one bonus tip. This is shameless self promotion but I have a complete playlist with Streamlabs OBS tutorials on my channel. I update videos that go out of date, I add new videos when new topics should be covered, so you can find a ton of up to date tutorials regarding setting up Streamlabs OBS in this playlist. Now don't forget to follow me on Twitch and if you want to help me rank this video higher in the YouTube algorithm then please give it a like and add a comment cause that really helps a lot. You can comment something completely random, it doesn't matter as long as there's engagement on this video. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Have a nice day.